All right, boys and girls, the day has finally came where uh, I, I might no longer have a potato PC. It depends how this all works out, okay? I'm hoping it's all going to work out, but we might run into problems. So, basically what I got right here is the freaking B450 AMD Motherboard Gaming Plus. And I'm actually happy that it says this that it's uh, 3000 ready because that means that my processor should work out of the box and I shouldn't have any problems with it. I really hope I don't. And then we got a brand new RAM. Oh my gosh. Bunch of work. So basically, we're gonna be using this. This is my new like main part. Um, we're gonna be using the storage from here and like the fans and the case and stuff, obviously. And then for our graphics card, we're actually gonna be using one of the ones from the mining rig, the RX 580s, because I just wanna I just wanna AMD it up. Okay, we got the AMD CPU. You might as well get the AMD graphics card too. You know what I'm saying? This is the eight gigabyte 580, so we should be we should be rocking. We should be rocking. Oh, this is so satisfying. Holy. I'm just really happy that it said AMD 3000 desktop ready, which means that uh, it should be ready right away, I think, or they're false advertising, and after this video, we're going to sue them. Okay. Okay. We getting somewhere. Okay. So basically, we got the huge cooler, and then the baby, mmm, get the hell out of here box, mmm, oh, that thing looks majestic. Okay, so this is basically what we're working with right now, and uh, while it's good, while it's good, okay, it gets my job done, it, uh, it could be done better, it could definitely be done better. So, we're just gonna slowly, one by one, take this thing apart. Now we basically just have a blank case with uh, some storage drives in it. I have an SSD and a one terabyte uh, hard drive in there. And now we're gonna be going on to the next part, installing the actual, uh, the good stuff, you know? What we're gonna do now is we're just kind of fasten it in and we're pretty much gonna do the whole process that we just did, but in reverse. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as you guys can see. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're just gonna spin it like this just for her ease of mind for myself. Then we got our trusty dusty, our trusty dusty AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Holy crap, I'm actually like, oh my gosh. This is where the moment actually comes down, you know what I'm saying? This thing is a thick boy. You are thick, holy. My last CPU is nothing close to this size, holy, that's actually crazy. This thing's actually thick, do you see how thick this thing is? Holy crap. Okay. Okay, this is where push comes to shove. Let me just make sure, for reference. And bam, just like that, we got an easy install. Our follow-up step is to take out all four of these, uh, whatchamacallits right here, and we're gonna have to put on the back plate again, but that's gonna be okay. Keep it in line. Oh, this is gonna be a mission. Okay. I'm gonna do this flat. You guys probably aren't gonna be able to see this that well because I don't have an angle that can hold it quite like that. But what I do have, fortunately, is a dream. 
Okay, so I hope you guys believe. Basically, this is what the back plate is. You have to hold this on the back while you screw this onto it. So it's gonna go this way, so that it doesn't get in, so that this is what I was talking about. I'm gonna have to screw it on this way so that the AMD logo doesn't get in the way of the RAM either. Make sure it gets out of this thing's way though. I hate when it runs over like that. So now it's just for the easy plug and stuff, you know? I'm probably just gonna do, eh, maybe I'll go boss the wall and just install everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have DDR4 RAM. I'm actually so excited. Where'd my little cutter thing go? Ooh, Lee, but don't play with me. Holy, I'm so excited to have DDR4 RAM. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna go for the red slot. I'm not positive. Ooh, these feel nice. I'm not positive, but I believe that these ones have a faster channel, the two uh, side ones. One in. Make sure that's open. Damn, that do be looking kind of fresh, though. Are you guys seeing this? Damn, this we do looking fresh. Okay. Okay, we're about to be big rocking. So now for the part that obviously I've been waiting for more than life itself. Yes, here you are, my friend. Here you are. RX 580, 8GB. We're going Ryzen, Ryzen. Or, well, not Ryzen, Ryzen. We're going AMD, AMD. We're about to be supporting full AMD. That was why I wasn't using these cards before. I felt like it'd be better just to do a full, uh, what you want to call it. Got that silver spot right there looking out for me, boy. Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna install these, uh, whatchamacallits first, my storage. Oh, hold up. Weird champ. I'm gonna have to look up the, uh, where to install the, uh, power button and stuff. I found the page in the pamphlet, but the thing is that it's not as helpful with telling me on my case which one is the positive and negative for the power switch. So we are going to, uh, just hope, hope that I put it in right. All right, pog. Okay, that's done. That part is so painful. I'm surprised I flipped to it. I didn't even look in the manual. I was just flipping through pages, and I saw the the page on there. So it honestly made my life really easy. Okay, so now we gotta stand her up. Let's get this back ran through, and then we're gonna need the hard drive one too as well. Here's the other one. Take pose of this and give me that shit. Check if I install right here. So now it's the part that we all really wanted. Yes, baby. RX 580, 8 gigabyte. I'm about to be tanked up. Gotta be looking like I'm. Pod champ. All right, bet. So now we got that in there. All we gotta do now is install this card real quick for my network so I can get the Wi Fi. And that's an easy install.
Literally easy peasy lemon squeezy. It does appear though as if we should have everything done. So I'm really hoping for the best right now. Obviously I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna install the fans in the case, but I just wanna see if it first boots. That, that's, that's my goal right now. I got everything installed, I think. I got this plugged in. Yeah, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. Okay, okay. AMD Ryzen 5 6 core, it came on the wrong monitor, but it's okay, it's okay. Okay, we get it somewhere. It's not, okay, as you can see, it came on the wrong monitor, but listen, it's okay. DRAM size 1638, so it notices that. Frequency, I think I gotta, I think I gotta change the frequency, because the frequency is a little bit messed up, but it, it's noticing everything. Uh, okay, I guess it just came up on the other one. There, oh, the Windows thing is loading. Oh my gosh, please tell me it's going off the, oh my gosh, it is. Pog champ, Pog champ, minimal problem. All that has to happen now is I got I got to put everything on the case and the fans. It's currently it's currently just you know doing its thing, but uh, I'll catch up with you guys after this is done. It's just gonna install everything. I'm actually so hyped right now. Okay, so now we got everything up. Uh, this is a little bit uh, past when I was supposed to record it, but I just wanted to you know wrap up the video and stuff and everything's all working and stuff. And throughout the whole video, I was hoping you guys would comment. I used to have a whole bunch of like dust down there. <laughs> In the comment section, please, please, please comment dust so we get an algorithm. The more comments, the better, okay? Just talk about the dust. I already cleaned up the dust. I made it like a little Easter egg, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, the whole thing's up and running now. She's beautiful. Um, everything's running perfectly fine. And uh, she's a snack, you know? Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. And peace out, boys!